Yo. Hey, hey. We're back. Back at it. <laughs> we never said we were leaving, but I guess we should <laughs> say that we're back. The summer came, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. What do you expect? <laughs> uh, yeah. So welcome to another episode of First with Foremost. Um, it's only been seven months. <laughs> But here we are. We didn't give up. We didn't quit. We just took a hiatus. Yeah. And didn't tell anyone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, yeah, man, we've got a lot to catch up on, I guess, in that time frame. Yeah. Summer happened. Um, summer was awesome. Summer was pretty, pretty awesome. Um, didn't we, do, we didn't much. do any music stuff. No, yeah. I didn't play at all. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of nice to just have one back, you know? Yeah, I was I was getting kind of burnt. I'd been gigging for a couple of summers. Yeah. A couple of years. Sure. You know, a couple of summers and a couple of winters that'll, mm-hmm. you know, while you're maintaining an adult life is, uh, you know. It gets rough, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's funny because then the, the winter hits and all of a sudden – we're talking like, well, what did we do last year? <laughs> and I was like, well, we were ramping up the band, like yeah. for our record release and for <laughs> yeah. all the, all the, all the stuff we were writing songs and recording. And that's what, that's what I was doing. Like, and, uh, this year I was just like, Oh shit. Like what, what the fuck are we going to do? So here we are. Yeah. Back at it. Back at it. Um, yeah, man. So it's good to catch up with you. We hung out recently, played some acoustic songs, and realized yeah, I think- that I need to start practice with the singing. <laughs> Get back on that. <clears throat> like, yeah, apparently that is something. If you don't lose it, you will lose it. Yeah, I mean, if you don't do it for seven or eight months and then. Yeah. Smoke a bunch of cigs and, <laughs> you know, yeah. that'll, that'll do it. Yeah, for sure. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, no, no real plans for the band or anything right now besides a general want to continue doing shit. So no right. fucking updates there, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'll bring this thing back to life. We'll let you know when we write some songs. Yeah. For sure. It'll happen. Um, There's some stuff blowing around in the bin. Yeah. There's always riffs to be had. Yep. We just gotta, we just gotta dig them out. I really want to explore the, uh, a bass driven sound. You know, what's cool. What's up? I, pl- I play bass. I know. That's what <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, I really want to, I don't know, man. It's, there's people who play bass and then there's like guitar players who just do the eighth and 16th and quarter note yeah. things, you know? Yeah. I have, I have beef with the people that do reviews on the internet for instruments that are like guitar players grabbing basses and mm. bass stuff. Yeah. And then you're just like, what out of that was fucking useful for anyone? Like you're, right. you're sloppy playing and you're like noodling and riffing around. Like no one plays like that and no one makes their bass sound like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about that the other day when I came, when I was driving home from your house, just like, man, Dustin can play the bass. Like, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but I was just like, we need to incorporate that in the songs. Like, that needs to be a factor because, like, I don't know. Not that you didn't do good shit on our songs we already have. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, that could be a huge. Yeah, well, know. it's also it's different coming at it. You know, we talked about that. Like, you had a lot of those songs written. Yeah. So, right. You know, I can I can add my little bits and pieces, but you can't unhear you know, enter Sandman 
and like write something like right. different. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like no. it yeah. is, it, you, you know, it is, it is what, what it is. It is. So. Right. Yeah. yeah so know. it'll be cool to write some stuff from scratch. Yeah. That's what I'm pretty excited about this winter. Yeah. That'll be fun. We got Christmas coming up. <laughs> Dude, it's already here and gone, apparently. That's how fast time is moving. The next time we do this, it'll be seven months from now. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, Got any new songs? Huh? <laughs> yeah. There's some stuff kicking around, you know? <laughs> you know what we're going to do? We're going to have some drums on these ones. Okay, yeah, so that'll I bought, be cool. I bought... Uh, <laughs> A power supply for my Digitech Jam Man unit. Okay. So the next. What are we gonna get out of that? I don't know. I don't know what's on there. Okay. But I'll bring it down. Digitech Jam Man. Yeah, there's probably some crazy shit on there. It was from when I was playing like every day. Do you have the double, like the double one? No, just, a, just the one. The single okay. one. Just a lo- I okay. just wanted it as a looper. I got you. Um, I got you. But it was when I was playing like every day. Yeah, I got you. <clears throat> I mean, dude, I went when we started the band, I played like every day. Yeah. And then by the time we were done playing shows, I would like play when we would play. <laughs> yeah. You know. I remember you you brought that thing, you brought a looper down and it was just like full of riffs and ideas and stuff. And you're just like, ah, one sucks. Next one. Ah, that one's cool. Yeah. It's like going through it. Yeah. That was so, the thing. I, I remember doing that being like, would this fit? Yeah. But like, if there's no genre attached to it, we can do whatever we want. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It's the beauty of music these days, I think. Yeah, for sure. Um, you just need to be, I don't know, maybe not even in the same ballpark, but like there's just going to be guitars. So it's fine. <laughs> whatever, whatever ends up happening with those guitars is, is good to go. Yep. Guitar music. <laughs> um, so speaking of guitars and shit, we have gear to talk about for the past seven months. I know you've oh, yeah. done some stuff. I've done some stuff. So like try, I, I want to talk about the shit that just happened, but I'm trying to think of any like gear I've gotten rid of or sold from, from since the last time we did this, what, <laughs> what have you done? I don't think I, uh, I don't think I, I know I didn't sell anything. Okay. I was going to, and then the great Facebook hack debacle happened. Yeah. And I was yep. just like, nope, I'm not selling on the internet right now. Gotcha. Um, I traded my Walrus Juliana, the double button chorus. Yep. To my friend Wade for a JHS lightning bolt and a kilt. So I'm jealous. I'm jealous about that kilt. I put the lightning bolt on and I'm like, man, the super bolt, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah. Uh, it's like the super O or some shit. I don't know. Look it up. Super bolt. Yeah. Super bolt. There we go. Um, <coughs> I got that and that's pretty much the main overdrive breakup sound that I've been using. I mean, I've just been playing in the basement, you know? Um, yeah, but the kilt I've been using as an overdrive too, but <clears throat> when I click the red remote in it, if you have it on the one setting, it's like, it turns into like a fuzz almost. Oh yeah. It's ridiculously raunchy and almost unusable, but I thought it was pretty fun. So it's been on there. Uh, I don't know. I put a compressor on there. Okay. Just a little cheap one. Yeah. Baby compressor. I don't know. But All right. that was this summer. I mean, I think before that I built the telly up. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. 
Haven't really acquired anything new. Just a couple pedals. That's not too bad. Yeah, just a couple pedals here and there. That's good. You showed some restraint. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really have. Well, that was the thing, man. I was like feeling burnt out completely, and I was just like, I don't want to look at this shit right now. Yeah. Like, I don't know the last time I plugged the pedal board in, honestly. Like, yeah. No, I, I mean, just, I don't. I was just plugged straight in to the practice amp. Yeah. I'm really guilty of that, 100%. Well, yeah. When I'm messing around, I'm I'm normally just into the computer, straight. Do you in. Le- do you leave your board laying in the basement? Yeah, yeah. I don't bring it up here because I don't. I don't trust my dogs, like, man. They're always I put, re- wrestling and shit. They'll be fucking. I put the cover on top of it. Going to the vet because somebody was launched into a pedal or something. That's, oh yeah, like, that's my I reality. F- I f- <laughs> No, trust me, I know. I found a, a whole claw just laying on the floor here, like not too long ago, as in like a couple minutes ago. It's like, what the fuck is that? It's like, it's a whole claw, like out of someone's paw. And I'm like, is anyone bleeding? They're all fine. I don't even so know where funny. the hell it came from. Um, but no, I, I put like the the hard case cover on top of it, so it's oh, like nice. protected. Yeah, that's. Cool. I just latch it in and close it up so it just lives down there and then um but yeah it's so easy dude like i just go into the fucking interface and like right with amplitude any amp i want to play any pedals i want to play like the shit's all in there and yeah. i have a bunch of presets so it's like it's the same as a pedal board i just like click on one of my favorite settings what's your favorite to it. non-rock genre of bass to play Oh, um, and I mean like either our type of rock, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I really like, um, like that last Dua Lipa record, Mm -hmm. whatever, like that shit would be called, um, just pop, I guess. Okay. But like, uh, some of that stuff is just so fucking fun to play. Like Dua Lipa, like all those bass lines on that Lizzo album are amazing. Like. I don't know all, all that new like like catchy pop stuff that's also like they're doing a big throwback to like like nostalgia 80s stuff and a lot of that music yeah and those bass lines are super fun like a bunch of funky fills in them and like just so so different so different than like the shit we play right you know like we are like really keeping a groove with a drummer like that's mm-hmm. like you know yeah slowing it the, down the pocket <clears throat> yeah um, I really like playing that stuff. Um, you know, and then besides that, a lot of like, like, like new wave stuff. I like, I like messing around with all that shit too. Up above the like 12th playing, fret. Yeah. I just playing like weird chords and stuff that like, yeah, they could get away with back then that I can't do much now, you know, cause it's like sonically everyone expects a song to sound fuller they were just like yeah fuck it like i can put a chorus on and play i don't even hit any any upper register notes at all the whole song (laughs) fuck it hell yeah um that's cool though yeah i like that stuff and then i don't know like i kind of just i'll i'll just let like spotify fucking go i'll let the algorithm take over like i'll hear something during the day and just be like oh what the fuck was that baseline like recently the last one that got me i haven't like sat down and learned it but it's on my list is um oh fuck i'm not gonna remember the song without pulling this list up now um anyways but like i'll i'll hear a song throughout the day and i'll just you know like type that into spotify and just let it go and I'll just sit here and like, I won't even learn all these songs unless something really catches my attention, but I'll just yeah. like it, it'll, it'll go through one time and I'll just noodle around and try and learn it. And then unless it's like, Whoa, <laughs> I'll just, it'll go to the next one. And it's like, okay, that was fucking cool. Hell yeah. So gets you out of your comfort <clears throat> zone for sure. Yeah. What I about do. you? I don't know, man. I, I play a lot of weird, 
I guess if it's non-rock, if I pick up a guitar, it's usually like some sort of country lick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like guilty of that. Some white old man shit. <laughs> Bust out some like bluesy lick. I don't wow, know. Too, I mean, some noodling and then I do the chords. Yeah. yeah, if I'm like picking up a guitar to like, oh, maybe I'll buy this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I definitely do cowboy chords first. Yeah. Just to see what kind of resonance is going on. All right. And then So do you listen to uh Chris Chris Shiflet's podcast? The dude yeah. from the Foo Fighters? Yeah, the uh the guitar one. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He asked everyone what their what their guitar center riff is. Oh yeah. And every, everyone's just like, I, I don't have one. I, I don't know what you're talking about. And it's like when someone hands you a fucking guitar, like, what do you play? Like, do you have something you play? It's like you definitely do the the cowboy chords. Yeah. Cause I've heard it. Yeah. Well, like. If I'm just like checking out the guitar, I always do a yeah. G or like some sort of just to see how resonant it is. But uh huh, I got it. Stupid shit like that. Okay, just that to see sense. how the frets are with bends and that yeah. type of thing, you know. And then I'll plug it in. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it doesn't pass the G chord, it's not going to. It ain't worth it. Yeah. And if I can't feel it or like it's not resonating. Yeah. It may sound okay in an amp, but I don't fucking care because I don't want it. <laughs> do do guitar, like, do you pick up guitars at the store and they're not like. They're not. Like they're s- they're set never up, set like, up. But like. Are they so bad that like you can't play them? No, sometimes not okay. all of them. Because basses are definitely like that. Yeah, like, I remember. You'll pick up a bass and just be like, "This thing is fucking rattle city." Like mm-hmm. it's all over the place. You, you there's four notes on one string that you can hit without it yeah. sounding like total fucking hot garbage. Yeah, I mean, um, a lot of the time it is like that. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. That's what I mean. I well, yeah. If it passes the G test, yeah, because it's like it should be all right. If it's this resonant, I mean, I look it over too. Like, yeah, yeah. But I check out the resonance and then go from there. Gotcha. But I don't think I really have a riff. I just kind of noodle. Yeah, I'm a noodler, man. For yeah, sure. I'm the same way. I I I do fall back to the same like shit that i always noodle around with though but yeah i don't don't have like a go-to like if it sounds good playing this it's good i think jess said the one day she's like the first time i heard you play a complete song was the first time i saw you play live with a band yeah it's like yeah i I mean especially guitar parts it's like a lot of that 70s shit there's like it's just like cowboy chords and then like it's sprinkles of guitar. Yeah. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? So it's like, I'm not going to play the fucking six verses in this Eagle <laughs> song or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm not going to sit here for five minutes <laughs> going between those three chords so I can get to the solo. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to fucking go there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I'm sure that's fucking frustrating though too. It's like, that's the guitar center <laughs> shit. Yeah, for Sweet sure. Sweet child of mine riff out of time. Just nonstop. Oh. I love it. And, and, and rarely ever done right. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so uh, you got a whole behemoth in your basement that I saw when I was there. Well, yeah, you don't know this, but it's it's not there anymore. What? Uh, I didn't get rid of it, but... Um. Yeah, so I've I have been on quite a journey with bass stuff. Uh not so much pedals. I did get I did get one one new pedal worth mentioning, and it's the um jam pedals, the red muck. Okay. It's like a it's a, a green Russian muff clone 
that's just like insane. It does all the all the all the stuff you want out of like the old school vintage like Russian muffs, yeah. like that warm, creamy stuff. Mm -hmm. But also, this just has a second gain stage, which will do all of the like new glitchy, like just rip your fucking face off without losing any volume and without like having to also have the tone into like mudland to make it sound cool. Yeah. So, um, actually th they make a bass one, but I just have the guitar one cause it was used and it was like super cheap and I was like, fuck it. I'm going to buy it. Um, I don't, I don't even like th the bass one obviously has a blend knob, but you don't fucking need it. This thing's a beast. So Hell yeah, I, it, I like it made my, it on the board. I'm going to put mine back on the board. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I like the Russian muff. It's a favorite pedal of mine for sure. Do yeah. For guitar, that thing is, is, is awesome. But I mean, it, it does like that pedal you have does one thing for bass. Right. Which, which is, which is awesome. Yeah. It's, you know, the, the warm, creamy, fuzz tone that's like mm. oh there it is that's cool um but i can't have six of those fucking things on my board for every time <laughs> i want to do something different so um you know that's what's I up just, though it sounds like a cool yeah. pedal yeah yeah i like it a lot actually it, it was the first one that like finally did like it caught the same exact feel like in a in a in a live room that like old recordings with like the old old like beat up weird vintage shit that you just can't find anymore or it's you know three thousand dollars and nobody's taking it on tour with them <laughs> and the pedal is you know this fucking big it's the size of like a magazine right and like you know 10 pounds and it's got weird old power outlet that's got to be plugged in um so this was the first one that i like you just hit a note and you're like holy fuck like there it is there's that sound yeah I was like, damn, okay. That's always a great feeling. Yeah, and they're like hand painted. It's got like a bear on it and then the big green star right in the middle. So it's like that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. But it's so cool. Like, I don't know. I like it. Um and then Yeah, so after we like played our last show and I was lugging all of our shit around, one of the shows we played, um, and I think we talked about this in another podcast. One of the other bass players showed up with like his fucking gig bag, like a dark glass head in the pocket of the gig bag. And he had a little 212 that he was carrying with one hand because it weighed like 20 pounds. <laughs> and he, th he threw it up on the stage. And meanwhile, me and Brittany, my girlfriend, is helping me drag my like old 100 pound 410 cab. <laughs> through the, the city streets of Pittsburgh and the South side, like there was fucking cops everywhere. There was like shit going on. And we're like lugging this old heavy fucking dinosaur to our car. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck this. Like, no, what, what am I doing, man? Like I don't need it anymore. You know, like, yeah. So, um, I just kind of took like a deep, like, okay. Like I've had, my old Ampeg amp for I, I've had two of those SVT seven pros and there is nothing wrong with them. Um, I, I really like that amp, but it is just, it's just a class D amp that like, it doesn't do the Ampeg thing. It doesn't do the old SVT thing. You know, if they put that name on there, like it's going to fucking growl and snarl at you. And it's like, it just doesn't do it. Right. You know, I've had that thing so fucking loud. We played outside for a whole river, like on a, on a you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that thing couldn't have been more fucking cranked and it didn't do any uh, fake tube breakup, you know, like that's why my pedal board got so goddamn big is because I'm like chasing this fucking old SVT tone and you got to have, you know, pedals to do it and you can do that and that's awesome. But, you know, it, it really wasn't the amp that was the problem but it was like just looking at the whole thing like well what do i want like now's the time i can get rid of some of this stuff without having to have something to replace it right now <clears throat> right immediately to go play a show or or, yep. or or have practice or whatever so uh i just went on the hunt man and um 
you know, for anybody out there that's like a bass player trying to do the same thing, like trying to find their tone, like, dude, I'm just telling you, like the old SVTs don't do it. Like they're finicky. They weigh a thousand pounds. And the thing that like, if you really get to the nitty gritty about them is that they need to be plugged into a fucking giant fridge and they need to be turned up so loud to get that tone, you know, like those weren't recorded in a living room somewhere or at someone's house or even in a modern day studio that shared with other studio rooms. Yeah. Like, you know, like those, those old albums, like the classic rock albums that everyone talks about when they did the bass recording, like they emptied the building. Cause it was so, it, ha- it had to be so loud for it, that to happen. Um, you know, some of the Ampeg stuff that can kind of do it, like obviously like a, a B-15 is, is the sound of like Motown and probably the most recorded, you know, bass amp combo kit that you can get. And, and that's amazing for recording and just that, because the second you try and keep up with a full band with it, it starts getting muddy and farts out. Right. So like, I would love to have one of those here sitting in the room for like, you know, when I do all of this recording that I don't do. Yeah. Um, and then there's like the V four B or whatever it is. It's like a little bit less. It's probably like, you know, if, if the, the old SVTs we're talking about are 300 Watts, you know, this thing's like a hundred, 200, something like that. And, and you can get there with, with way less volume. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, the cat's out of the bag with like that info, people know that now, and those things are really expensive. Right. And the ones that are for sale, if they aren't really expensive, beat the shit. Yeah, man. And now you've got to, you've got to pay the same price for it to take it to someone to, to, to bring it back to life. Right. Yeah. So, um, I just started looking, looking at stuff and thinking like, well, you know, I want to have like my gig rig. So like lightweight stuff that I can, that I can, you know, take to a show and I can throw it in the car myself and I can carry it in and it's not going to break my back. And it's not, you know, I'm not filling up a whole truckload of bass gear yeah, to play a fucking show on a Thursday night, you know? Um, so I wanted that. And then I wanted, I was like, well, screw it. Like if I'm going to, if I'm going to have the lightweight rig, then that means I can get an eight ten and put it in the fucking basement. Yeah. And or or a six ten or or whatever, uh four ten and a and one fifteen and and not care about it moving around or whatever. So um yeah, I just I just started hitting the 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 used marketplace and was just kind of like looking to see. I kind of knew what I wanted, but it was just gonna be like, am I chasing something that doesn't exist? Like you, you know what I mean? Like, am I ever gonna find it? And uh the, the second, the first piece like came into the puzzle, I was like, okay, fuck. All right. So I was looking at like orange stuff yeah and I had never played through any orange stuff before, but you know, like people just say like a P bass into an orange amp is just like, it's, it's, it's rock and roll magic, right? Like it's just meant to be, it's like, well, if I can find one, I'll play one. And, uh, I wasn't trying to mess around with the only one that I could find around here was like the terror base. Yeah. Which I was, I, I had nothing against, but again, this was like, this was going to be the, the thing that lives in the basement. Right? right. Like, so, so I found, um, a, a, a older 80, 200 B, which is like their 200 watt tube, you know, their competition for the SVT. Right super simple it's got a three band eq a gain stage and a master volume and a shit ton of big giant tubes and uh it it was like the first one that i had ever seen like within driving distance yeah so um we ended up (laughs) this is kind of weird we also adopted a dog it was about four and a half hours away (laughs) and the the store that this amp was at was less than a mile and a half from like the foster place where we got this dog from. Yeah. So I was just like, 
can we stop at the guitar store after we pick up this dog? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God my Brittany's like, yeah, but you better know what you're doing in there. I'm like, all right. So I go and check this thing out and plugged into it. <clears throat> and they had it, they had it hooked up to uh actually the an 810 cab of the SWR stuff like I had. Yeah. So I was like, I know what these sound like. And uh, you know, I don't know what I played, but like I just hit a couple chords on uh it was a, a P bass that they grabbed off the wall. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, like this is a fucking no brainer. Like that is coming home with me, dude. Like absolutely. <laughs> Like that is the sound. That was just, that's the sound I've been fucking looking for with no pedals, no nothing straight in baby straight in man. Cause, cause it has that gain stage. So you yep. can crank the gain and get all that, you know, you can blast the fucking tubes mm -hmm. keep, I mean, keep the volume. I say low, like on like a half, it still rattles this entire house, but you know, yeah, I, I, I can, I can live with that, you know? It's loud enough to keep up with, you know, some I like the loud drummers uh, and other guitars. So I like the cab. I like the grill on it. Yeah. Yeah. And that was sweet too. I, I got, I got the head first and was just like, okay, now what? So, um, ended up buying the cab off of a buddy of mine, an old Johnstown musician lifer dude, my buddy Jay, shout out Jay. Uh, he hit me up and he's like, I heard you looking for an amp egg amp. It's like I got an 810 and it's the not that like not the new shit. He he got it like right when they did the vintage, like like you're talking about. It yeah. has the um, but it's still like the old stuff in it. So it's got that yeah. like it's got that that um I don't know, man, the magic, the mojo, whatever you want to call it in there. Mm -hmm. Um so I snagged that and then that was done, dude. That was like pfft, this is never leaving the basement. Like this Heck is just yeah. the recording rig, the rehearsal rig, the like every time we jam, dude, that's just going to be like, I'm going to get the fizz every time I fucking let that thing warm up. Like, cause I know it's just going to be awesome. Yeah. And, uh, so I was like, okay, well that's done, but I hadn't gotten fucking rid of anything yet. <laughs> So now I'm like now I'm in my basement and I'm like, great. Now I have an 810. I have a 410. I have a 210. I have all my old amp peg amp stuff. And you're like, so you have eight T how many? <laughs> At one point you're like, how many tens are down there? And I'm like, don't even get me started, dude. Um, so I ended up a mixture of selling and trading all my old gear and it paid for pretty much all the new shit. I traded straight up my amp for a Fender 410 lightweight neodymium cab. How it light is like, it? I mean, it's still, it's, it's still like heavy ish. It's probably 50 pounds yeah, but altogether. It's not... But like the thing is, is like you, I can lift that and throw it in a thing. And I, I don't even need to ever like the, my old one. I could do it, but I was like, it was, it was a hoof to yeah. get it up. And, and if you have to like move it around and push oh, it, yeah, I remember where, where this, like you can, you, you know, it's still 50 pounds, but like it's way lighter. It feels lighter. It's, it's less awkward. So I can just pick that thing up, throw it in there. And, um, so I was like, after I fell in love with that, that 8,200, I was like, well, that's what the terror base is. Like it's the same exact preamp, the same exact knobs, only it's got a uh, two tube, like preamp stage, yeah, vacuum stage, whatever. And then a class D power amp. So I was like, well, let's go play it and see how it sounds. Right. Like I've played class D stuff. My Ampeg was class D and it needed to be a thousand Watts right. for me to feel some mm -hmm. air moving. You know what I mean? Like, yep. And it did, but it was a fucking thousand watts. So I was like, man, I don't know. This thing's only half of that, but I don't know what the, I don't know what they fucking packed in that thing. Um, you haven't heard it yet. I, I played, um, this weekend in, in the, the card game band, my basement band. Yeah. Um, and I plugged it into the eight ten while, while the other one was at the shop and holy shit, dude, does uh, like, it is impressive what that thing does being only 500 Watts How big and is weighing it? <clears throat> it's, 
it looks like they call it the lunchbox. What it's is like, it again? What brand? Orange. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah it's terror the base? little like, yep. Yeah. The terror base. I know like, which one you mean. No. Yeah. My it weighs bad. like five pounds. I thought you were comparing and, it to the terror base. My bad. No, no. That's what I, I, I was that's like, cool. fuck it. I'll just go buy one and see what happens. And um, yeah, apparently, I don't know, forever ago, I probably should have just plugged into an orange amp. Yeah. Not wasted any of the, any fucking time. Um, it's your thing now, but, man. I like it. Oh, it's just, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It, it has, and I didn't play any of the new Ampeg stuff, the Venture series stuff, which a lot of people are saying is like really good. And it it's like, you know, they're back to being like, you know, the base brand, but it, it, it has all that like, like harmonic stuff in a bass that you want, you know, yeah. like at least that I want, like playing what we play, like, you know, it's, if, if you want, you know, crisp, clean, whatever, like get a Mark bass or get a Mesa boogie or like the subway stuff, you know, like those things are just powerful, like crisp, clean heads. And, and, you know, you can throw a million pedals in front of them and they'll sound fucking awesome. And everyone was telling me to check out the Aguilar stuff. And I did, I was playing that, <sighs> like a being it at the store between the terror base and the Aguilar and the drive on the tone hammer. I just can't wrap my head around. Like it sounds it, to me, it just sounds like mud. <laughs> it just sounds like you have a mud, a mud switch on there that you're just cranking up. Like it doesn't, it doesn't to me sound like old tubes breaking up yeah. or, or, or anything like, or warmth. It just sounds like metal zone switch. Uh, yeah like a metal zone switch with the tone the whole way down yeah <laughs> it takes all your like all that like high end you know like yeah. like a fucking p bass with new strings you know that like fucking punk sound it takes that and it just fucking it it destroys it <laughs> in my opinion my the one time i played one yeah at a fucking guitar store um <laughs> and i was just like screw it man like they have a 10 day return policy i'm gonna take this thing home plug it into my shit and see how it sounds. And fuck man, did it pass the test? Like halfway through practice, I was just, I was out of my board and just right into it. Like I don't fucking need any of this stuff anymore. Hell yeah. You know, it's so good. That's so, um, so I, I, I liked, I, once I got that and was like super sold on it, like, okay, one, this thing can do both. Like that little fucking terror base can really like, I'm telling you, dude, it can move some fucking air with that that ape 10 um like there is <laughs> there is no need it it's way louder than my ampeg was way louder wow so like there's that i don't know how that's a thing um so i was like okay well um you know that like i said that that orange head that i got was a little bit more vintage than i probably would have liked and a little beat up so I took that to the to the tube guy and he's doing a whole like service over on it. Yeah, he's gonna get it serviced and all cleaned up for me. So that way when I get it back, it's just like done and ready to roll. And I don't have to worry about something cracking or popping, <clears throat> you know? Oh, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Exciting. Yeah. Um I just I can't wait for you to hear it in like a full band setting, like P bass, drums, guitar, like the whole fucking nine yards, because it just rips through everything and it sings, dude. It's so nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. And um, yeah, it just I don't know, man. The way you play when you get like plugged into some of that stuff, like you know, guitar players not so much, but like bass players, there's always like this discussion of like backlining our gear mm -hmm. you know like oh it's just bass stuff whatever just plug into my bass amp and my cab yeah and you're like so many times you just you're just like forced to do that which yeah. sometimes it's good because you're like what the fuck is this this thing's awesome right and but but let's be let's be honest most of the time it's not right you know it's a 410 that's like been sitting in the corner of that place probably with a one busted speaker and you know, if it was a really fucking good amp, someone would have bought it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Right. Someone would have stole it or bought it or take or whatever. And they would have just replaced it with another fucking cheap one at our level. Right. Yeah. Like, you know, 
No. We're not we're not playing shows where like the backlining gig is a you know backline uh, company. A, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or or you know like oh that's that's the famous SVT that lives here at this place that everyone gets to play. Yeah. Um, I I've never plugged into one thing. There's been a I, I've every time I get to play through an eight ten, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's always fucking awesome. Just as a bass player to feel. Yeah. All of that the, fucking air moving around. Rumble. Yeah. Um, so I definitely got to do that a couple times, but like it's just been loud. It hasn't been loud and like I don't know, I, like warm or just like the, harmonic. <clears throat> it's a tube breakup, man. Yeah, but you even it's just it's it's not even that like it is the tube breakup. I mean, that is the fucking sweet spot. Like that's what we're all looking for. But even just the way like you hit your strings and it mm -hmm. reacts, there's this like those tubes breathe in between notes, yeah, you know, and you end up playing different. Like you just you end up becoming like it's like driving driving a stick shift or something. Like you're way more attached through that chord to what's going on behind you than you are through a, a class D amp. Like it's 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 that's it's how just I feel a, about the tube amps, man, with my guitar. Yeah. I'm, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. Yeah, and it's, you know, I, these models and all the IR stuff are are insanely awesome. And I'm not, like, this isn't me being, like, I'm getting rid of all my shit and just buying old tubes. Like, no, dude, there's there's a place for all this stuff. But, like, sometimes yeah, it's, like, we're, we're a, a rock band, like, punk rock band, whatever. The word rock is still in there, like... You know, we play shows where we need to be, there's no PA. Our, our vocals are the only thing going through there and, and maybe a kick drum. And it's like, you know, we've still got to be loud. And, uh, I don't know if you're going to fucking be loud. Like this is the way I'm going to do it from now on, yeah. you know? Yeah. So yeah, man. I, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked on that stuff. Um, and you know, there's going to be orange haters out there, which is fine. Like it does have its, just like I, I wasn't a fan of the Aguilar stuff. Like that's its that's its own thing, right? You know, and and I I guarantee the orange stuff is like, it's not everybody's thing. Yeah, but um, I I've been able to make both of them sound like like you where want. I can just yes, like where what where there's no two. Yep, exactly. Like, do I just want it to sound like? crisp clean bass like yes i can make that happen do i want it to get fucking growly when i dig in but i really got to dig in i can make that happen or do i want to just send all this shit to the moon and just see how fucking gnarly i can get it like it also does that and it's like no pedal that i've ever heard like maybe not in a good way or a bad way it's just i don't think i'd ever use it but it's fucking there if i want to get wild with it Hell yeah. so yeah I'm I'm pretty stoked on it. It's cool too because now I can get rid of half of my board was trying to get that sound vintage yeah. sound and it's already there. Yeah, in, in both amps. So now I can replace like some of the stuff on the board with like actual creative things, like you know different distortions or I don't know just weird stuff. Whatever the fuck I actually want to do now, you know I can play with my octave a lot more and whatever. Yeah. So put that weird envelope filter on there and go to town. Oh yeah, dude. Exactly. <laughs> So that's been fun too. I mean, I've already messed with the board. I've already thrown some stuff back on it that, that, that I had on there that I missed. So, um, yeah, I'm super stoked on all that stuff. It should be fun. Hell so, yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely, definitely excited to like play, you know, and get loud again. Cause there's one thing of like just doing it with the music cranked up and then there's like, you know, getting the whole band together and, and fucking ripping through some tunes, I know. you know, <laughs> So I'm excited for that. Hell yeah. See man. what that thing sounds like. I'm excited to hear it too. Excited to yeah. hear the the mini or the micro and <laughs> yeah. the other one. Dude, I, I you know, the the little one is the more impressive one. That's what I mean. Because I it's like not supposed to. I want to hear both of them though. Yeah. Just because like... it's not supposed to be that fucking good. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I never tried out the little they have the terror. Yeah. The little micro. Amps, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure those things are cool, man. Like, yeah, all that little stuff, like 
that's, you know, I think people get wrapped up into like bigger is better and louder is better, but like, you know, all of the, a lot of the guitar tones we listen to that are on songs we love are out of little tiny fucking speakers just yeah. like maxed out. I haven't know? looked at the guitar amps in a long time, but yeah, it would be sick to find. <clears throat> I wish I could get a 50 watt tube head in yeah. like a little package. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. I mean, they make them, dude. And They're out there now. Light ass cabinet. Mm hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Like, that's the thing everyone, everyone exactly like everyone thought like, you know, well, we just need the biggest shit out there. But now a lot of places have been making these exactly what you said, like a little 50 watt or even a 25 watt that like, you know, really can fucking pump out yeah. some volume if it needs to. I have a 20 but, watt head and it doesn't yeah. have enough headroom for the yeah jangly stuff it, that I like to do. Yeah. Is it tube or solid? Yeah, it's state? tube. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, 50 watts or somewhere around there is probably the sweet spot for you then. Yeah. You know? For sure. Um, We'll just have to make a another guitar trip, another field trip to the guitar store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm into that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But that's yeah, been fun, man. And then, yeah, I, got, I think all my stuff's gone except for... I still have the case and like my tuner and power, you know, like my power conditioner. Yeah. Which at this point, like that might just go in a corner. Yeah. You know, until something else happens. Right. You want to build so, some rack unit or some shit. Yeah, exactly. If I want to put some rack gear in here, I guess I could put it in that and set it in the corner. Right. That would be fine. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I was, oh my God, dude the the <laughs> tales of facebook marketplace oh yeah i know man the guy the guy that bought my my speakers on the way there i mean i'm i'm a grown man right like yeah. i'm not like I, I don't know like i i don't ever really feel scared right on the way there i was like you know <laughs> i'm going to tell britney what i'm doing and <laughs> I'm just going to let her know that maybe she should call me in like 40 minutes. And if I don't answer that, I've definitely been murdered. <laughs> where, where was it? <laughs> oh, dude, he was the tech. Well, first of all, the messaging oh, I, yeah. right off the bat is just like, hmm. I, okay. Like, yeah, buddy, I'm good. Like for what? Like, like, what do you, what are you telling me you're good for? And, and then it's just, <laughs> got cash I'm like oh okay all right so you're not even haggling price like <laughs> i'm sure that's not going to happen the second he sees you know and it's just like come on man but yeah he wanted to meet me outside some fucking bar out of you know not the middle of nowhere but like also not a bar that like right anybody goes to anybody goes to yeah and uh I mean, whatever I'm talking shit, but the guy pulled up and he, he fucking paid me, took the shit and left, but rolled up blaring. Just like, it sounded like hair metal, but like new hair metal. Uh -huh. And I was sitting, I was sitting in my car and I heard it as he, like he was slowing down on the highway <laughs> and I heard it and was just like, here we go, buddy. Fuck. Yes. This is going to be a wild ride. And, uh, bandana you know like just chains everywhere i don't know what he was like trying to i bet he plays I don't a know specter oh, okay. oh he plays everything brother yeah what, so what you get rid of this shit for man you quit you quit playing bass or something I'm like no i just got news i got different stuff man <laughs> dude yeah i play i play drums i play guitar. i've been doing this shit forever man since the way back in the 80s you know what i'm saying brother <laughs> <laughs> just like hell yeah that's cool yeah. i was like all right he's like yeah man you so you play bass i said yeah he's like oh dude i'm always looking for a bass player and i was like cool yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah. i don't have any okay <laughs> yeah delete delete this message as soon as i leave that's hilarious but he just grabbed the shit and he's like how much was it and i told him he's he and then he's he's like oh all right he's like Whatever it was, he, he's like, well, I don't have 
that so i'll just give you an extra 10 on it because all i got is 20 <laughs> he, he took off hell yeah <laughs> it's like oh fuck yeah sweet i got an extra 10 bucks for gas hell yeah bud that's what's <laughs> up yeah i love that kind of shit too so i on the way back i'm just like thank god it's over that was the last of this stuff <laughs> i don't have to deal with facebook marketplace selling anymore i don't mind fucking around on their buying stuff but yeah selling shit it's just like oh my god what a disaster yeah all those instagram like clips of you know people reenacting it like is that still for sale mm-hmm. yeah yeah all right <laughs> And they don't message you back. I'm like, oh, okay. They hit you with the prompt. Oh, yeah. Prompt message. Mm hmm. It's like, oh, God. Well, hell so, yeah, man. I'm excited to get rolling and get these bass tones out to the people. Yeah, dude. I feel like I've now, now I got to back it up with actual bass tones. Yeah. Be all right. Bass record. That's right. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I'm into it. <clears throat> so the podcast is back, everybody. Podcast is back. Uh we'll get we'll get to guests and we'll do yeah. we'll do the stuff like we've been doing, but we just wanted to like get the fucking ball rolling. Yeah. Get out there. Get one in. So get one in. Figure out how to use all this stuff again. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hopefully you didn't like totally forget about us. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I don't know. That's what you got to look forward to. We'll, we'll be getting guests lined up and yeah, I don't know, like we'll probably try and maybe not, obviously we didn't really try to do any of this stuff this episode, but like, like we'll try and get some more feedback of what people want, who they want us to talk to, or like. I don't care. Like we're just winging it, man. We're interested in like all of this stuff, gear, writing, producing, recording, singing, whatever. And a lot of Um, other shit. (laughs) Yeah. And a bunch of other shit. So, you know, um, and we've both been doing this for a long fucking time. So, um, yeah, I don't know, man, if there's, if there's stuff you guys want to hear us talk about or guests you want us to have on, you know, from the local scene that, you know, you know, We'll do it. So we'll do it. Ideas, man. Yeah, we'll do her, bud. I mean, we might not do like a whole episode on it, but you know, <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's up. Hell yeah, man. Cool, dude. You got anything else? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. Pretty much I mean, I- the gist of my musical. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we took a fucking. Sometimes you got to take a break from shit. Yeah, for sure. Know? It came out of COVID, swinging with the band, like yeah, all hopped up on fucking cherry Pepsi, ready, ready to, to go. fucking go. And uh, I mean, that was too. I don't know. You, from the time like we started until, I guess whatever seven months ago, like we hit it pretty fucking hard. Yeah. So, um, you know, and like. I don't think it's, it's, it's not like anyone's going to be surprised that we're not trying to be like the next famous people from this or anything. (laughs) Like we're just two dudes that enjoy doing it and want to like get music out of our brains sometimes and like into the world. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think that's a cool thing too, that we're able to be like, Hey, I'm feeling fucking burnt out, man. Like let's just take a break. Yeah. And we can. For sure. And that's probably like a good thing because I think probably a lot of bands like they you don't do that. Yeah, they don't. For sure. You know, and then shit comes to a head and then it's just like, it's over. you know, <laughs> fuck this. I'm fu- like, I don't want to take a break. Like I'm fucking done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's cool, man. I'm always, I'm always up for playing or taking breaks. <laughs> Back to more playing what do we need now. To? Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. So. All right, man. I think this is a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stoked on it. Um, And yeah, I mean, dust the cobwebs off, and I think we just needed to get the ball rolling again, you know? Yeah. And Just uh, do them. Yeah. Plan to do them. 
plan to do them. We'll do them. Hopefully you guys like them, people out there listening. And uh, yeah, man, we'll talk to you soon. All right. We'll be on, I don't know. What is it? It's, it's foremost PA on Instagram, right? Mm, sure. Yeah, I think, I think so. so. I know <clears throat> we're foremost on YouTube. We'll, we'll put links in the description. I'm terrible and, with social media, man. I don't know. We got to. We got to make an effort, though. I know. Come on, Andrew. We got to make an effort. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll post links of all this shit. And yeah. Make it easy for you guys to find it. And um, yeah. yeah. And we'll, if you're we'll, listening, you probably already follow us on Instagram. So yeah, for sure. And if not, <laughs> come find us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Check us out on YouTube. Leave a comment, whatever. Like it. All that stuff I think does actually help. So I, yeah. I see stats now and all this stuff. And I know like our, our best episode last year was uh, episode four, I think, mm-hmm. uh, or no episode three. And I don't know why, but that, that was, that was the most popular one. And I think that's the one like you and me decided to like promote the most and that's right. all it was. Right. So it just, it, it makes sense, you know, like the more effort we put into it. I think just the more eyes. Yeah, definitely. We can get on, on people checking us out. So if you're out there listening to this, help us out. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. All right. See you later. Peace. Later.